What's going on guys? Today's the day we're gonna install AC in the garage. Okay guys, so I wanna thank our friends at New Air. They are in fact sponsoring this video. And they're also offering a $100 off coupon code, which is Brandon100OFF. Um, link in description, coupon code is in the description as well. So they sent me this unit, it's an AC dehumidifier and also a fan if you wanna use it as a fan, but I think it's gonna be perfect, over 500 square feet. This garage is actually closer to 800 square feet because it's massive, uh, but I think this will push the air just fine. We've got cross breeze that usually comes in from this window, um, so that'll be perfect for this, and then if we keep the door closed, I think this environment will be really nice. Sick. guys are curious, this is the one I got. It is the one ending in WH02. So go to their website and check that out. I think it's one of the most powerful ones they sell, which is sweet. All right, so we got these little guys here. I can only assume Oh, nice. Okay, so that's how you can close it. You can take the uh, pipe out and still close it. So I can only assume it goes like this. Listen to those birds. I apologize, the window is really dirty. But uh, that's another video, guys. Freaking do that. But what I'm finding is that this center piece is too long. I'm gonna do, which I'm not sure if you're supposed to do this, New Air. You didn't, you didn't clarify, but it looks like this has to be like four inches shorter, essentially. So I'm gonna hack off four inches from this little piece. All right, so I got my fancy new jigsaw here, battery powered 20 volt, but I can't find my blades. So we're gonna use this little multi-tool, which I never really knew existed for a long time, but this I've already used, as you can see, a bunch of times. So long story short, multi-tool comes in handy. We've got a, this is actually a pretty small battery, but um, be good there. And uh, that's good for wood, plastic, this should be just fine, so four inches. Workbench actually is coming in handy, I'm not gonna lie. Safety glasses, got some Ray-Bans. How's this gonna go? I'm just gonna hold this, let's see how well. I'm supposed to kinda, I don't wanna crush it, but I want it to stay in place. It's all we got, it's all we got to work with, so I'm going to, and go slightly shorter. It's gonna be tough once we. That's why the jigsaw would be better. That's all we got. You can go at an angle if you're a pro. That's not too shabby. New air is probably like, bro, chill. So now, we have to fully. Extend. Oh, there we go. Okay. We'll put it on this. This thing can't control it. Freaking get this on. It's my question. Oh, 
Lock is left. That's kind of weird. Oh, idiot. Look at that! Oh, we're turning on. And it's on fan. Okay. Dry, oh that's dehumidifier. And then cool, so let's turn cool. Okay. Oh. Oh, now it's cranking. Now it's cranking. All right, let me give you a closer look. It's on. Uh, I turned the mic around. Yeah, it's definitely cold air. Um, this thing lines up pretty good. There's just a tiny, tiny little gap. Um, I guess we can always address that if we really need to, but for now, that's definitely cold air. I don't know what else to say. The truth is, if you get an AC that's something like this, it's gonna be like, oh, the air is cooler. Well, of course the air is cooler. As long as it's working, the air is gonna be cooler. So I'm not gonna go and tell you guys that this place is an icebox now, but I guess the truth is, over time, I'll be able to sort of give you guys an impression of like how it's doing. That's pretty, <laughs> that is pretty cold. You know, it's cold air. So we got a nice little remote here. It tells you what setting it's on. And then we have these settings, which you can do fan, you can de dehumidifier as well and go back to cool, low, medium, high. So I just put it on high. Okay. That's going to make this place like legit, like an ice box. So anyways, we got 800 square feet of space to work with. Um, that is just going to be the first step. So I'm going to see how well this thing does in a large garage. It's meant for closer to 500 square feet, but if you put it on high and maybe you, you crank down the temperature, um, it'll probably be just fine. So let's turn this off. Ooh, I love that little active. It looks like a little active air brake. That's very McLaren of you. <laughs> All right, guys, that's gonna end this video. Thank you for tuning in to the garage updates. We got a pretty, this is actually a legit update. Um, it doesn't get quite as hot as uh, like it did in Florida when I was down there, um, but there's definitely humid days that we get 80 plus, 90 plus. So being able to like work, have this thing going, and even just the dehumidifier, like if I'm coating a car or anything like that, having like the humidity managed um, is huge. So, and then th this also has an air filter and things like that. So it seems like a pretty good unit. It seems built well. It's not, you know, like, flexing or any sort of weird thing like that. It doesn't take up much space. I like having it here. So I think for a very long period of time, I'm gonna be rocking this thing, especially in the summertime. And guys, don't forget, you got a hundred bucks off one of these things. I do, I get like a 5% commission on the sales too. So if you want to fund the garage and make the garage even cooler, literally cooler, but also cooler with new gear and uh, cabinets and fun stuff like that, uh, that commission will go directly into the Shifted Perspective Fund to fund the garage and upgrades for the garage. So with that said, I will give you some very fast footage of me organizing this place because as you can uh, hopefully tell, um, it's a lot better than what it was before. We got a little table going on. Actually, let me just give you a quick little tour at the end of this video. All right, I actually did want to mention I picked up a Ring doorbell camera, by the way. Um, another house sort of obsession and focus lately. This is the live view, which is actually pretty cool. Not a sponsor or anything like that, but I heard like doors closing, car doors, and I heard um, like loud vehicles outside, and I'm in my garage with the door shut. So I'm really lazy. I just flipped up the camera, see what's going on. There's just like a truck or whatever driving by. So no problem there. Really cool to have that. So if you guys um, are looking for a doorbell, actually it is pretty cool to have a little camera. Let's go to the garage. So this is the detailing corner. Um, for now, oy. this is uh, the way that everything looks. And of course I uh, angled this a lot because I wanted to uh, make sure that it doesn't fall forward. So this is 
literally like not organized at all but it does have some sort of detailing microfiber and then this is sort of more like things i don't use as much and then obviously we got some power stuff down there put that there um not all this is organized this is kind of like the tool center um what's cool about having a big garage is when i want to do like top views i just use the big tripod uh, polaroid a little nicer and then this is like a little cheapy from amazon so if i want to do like lower shots uh that's like a little youtube land um tripods aren't insanely expensive unless you get really fancy ones so otherwise it's kind of nice to have two different levels this um workbench will be removed but uh, for now it's kind of like a you know the ego stuff is there by the way really awesome stuff um, we took the mirror down. We got some random things. We got this car that, uh, oh God, it really needs wash. We got the buckets lined up. I just did that cause I'm cool. Old Costco lights. Um, actually speaking of lighting, this lighting actually might stay for a little longer than I thought. I might switch out the bulbs, but this area, uh, the camera always adjusts, so it'll look better or worse in, in reality, but the, the lighting is actually pretty decent, although I do need two more down there and there, because when the garage is closed like it is, it doesn't have really lighting down there. Uh, over here, we got the TV working. I have a Amazon Fire Stick I'm going to hook up so I can get some music, maybe movies, but I don't really watch movies when I'm doing stuff out here. Um, this is a gardening thing that they left. Uh, we're going to designate it as sort of like the garden slash, uh, you know, lawnmower slash miscellaneous items. They have like 17 gallons of uh, windshield wiper fluid, which I don't understand why you need that much, but whatever. This is like really crappy, you know, it's like falling apart. It's like wiggling and moving around. But for now, <laughs> we kind of get a little bit of symmetry. I threw up this table here just because, you know, I wanted something to put the music on. It'd be cool to mount these up here, um, but we'll see how things go as far as um, audio. But uh, that's pretty much it, guys. That's like the very brief update. I did a ton of organization, and um, just stay tuned.